Okay, so add to scan a uh, hundred uh, bills and separate it into the category. So let let's look at the questions. Uh, extract the text from the images and store it in categorical wise CSV file. And each category have separate CSV files. Each CSV file is store information like bill, organization name, bill amount, tax information, and uh, if any. Uh, and then in the third, we have to uh, draw a pie chart and, and uh, do some data analysis. And in the fourth uh, was the conclusion that we have to give to the user some suggestions uh, for increasing the savings. Okay, so moving towards the importing libraries. So here I have imported uh, many packages like CV2, OS, uh, Panda, Seaborn, Matplotlib, CSV, NLTK, RE for uh, reg uh, regular expressions. Okay, so this is a dummy model that I have elaborated in every step of the code. So the below code will show how I created uh, seven category files and it gives the demo of, and I'm giving you the demo of one bill in this notebook. So here this uh, for loop is for um, scanning 100 different bills uh, and then using the test rack, I'm going to convert that image into a text and then I'll be extracting the insights or useful informations and then I'm going to create a CSV file. So here I have a list called file and for I in file with open and here using format operation and append, I'm going to create a CSV file with a delimiter as commas and a writing row as date organization and um, uh, amount. So after creating all the files here, I have my append function. So my ST stands for date, head stands for uh, title and X stands for the amount. Uh, and then here is my append function here. I open the file in the append mode and here are the list of elements are all the row contents which contains date, element, uh, title and amount. And here uh, using the CSV write, a, write row function uh, will be appending. So this is how the appending was done. And now uh, then you can save the notebook to make sure that your CSV file is saved and then you can begin the data analysis part. So yeah, here is the demo of one bill that I scanned. So using the CSV IM read module, let me, okay. So the bill is scanned and let me show you the bill. Okay, so this is the bill that I have downloaded from the internet just for one demo. Uh, the title is Young Thai Kitchen and the amount is this and the, your date is given here. So now let's do some extraction. Okay, so here I have the test track and here, let me run this. Yeah, okay. So we have converted this image into text. Uh, now we have to find the date. So using the regular expression method, I'm going to find out the date. So these are some rows. Okay, now what happens is not all bills have the same date format. Some bills like I have your bill number four, which has 17 written instead of 2017. So what this method will do is it would split all the dates and add 20 if uh, here if the year is uh, if here it's only 17 it would add 20 um, in front of it so here I have downloaded this NLTK packages and here now I have to split all the lines to get the first line that is young Thai kitchen so I've got my title now I have to find the price of so for price again I'm going to use the regular expressions uh, now here is dollar euro or I don't know this currency um, so it would find all the amount related, which is, uh, you know, in front now, see in this list, I get all these elements, but of course your price would be the one which is maximum. So your grand total is going to be this. So that is what I did here. Uh, here, my maximum price was this. Now, sometimes it happens that your currency is different, which is not provided in your keyboard. So you can use this method, which also worked for let's say this this is a indian bill so in this what i scanned for is grand total and in this string would have uh, some of few of the numbers and we could uh, scan that number and we can uh, extract the amount and the price now so till here we have extracted the data title and amount now it's time to categorize bill whether it's a shopping or uh, grocery electricity likewise uh, so i'll first tokenize the text and search for keywords so now this is okay uh, here. Okay, so here I've tokenized each and every word. Now what ha what will happen is this commas, brackets, and square brackets, hash, dollar, they are of no use now. So I'll remove 
all those punctuations in the next block so i have removed all the punctuations now it's time to remove stop words now stop words are basically a and her you which are not uh, which are not helpful for gaining useful insights so i'm going to download the stop words and now i'm going to filter the list using for loop so for w in new words that is and if w is not in stop words then it would uh, append into the filter list and so while uh, printing the filter list is here okay so in the next six blocks we will make list of six categories and list which contains few words which are relatable to category of bill for example suppose the above bill of is of the restaurant we know but how would the machine know so we would include some of the keywords like kitchen food restaurant uh, vegetarian so which will compare it to the list categories and likewise it would allocate to uh, respective categories so here i have uh, entertainment so here using synonyms uh, method i have appended all the synonyms and apart from that i have added my extra keywords like happy restaurant food kitchen movie park let me run it so the same for home utility grocery investment travel and transportation shopping okay so after creating the list for each category here we will check that bill belongs to which category so i'm using here the flag statement so if the word is in entertainment category so we'll print e equal to true and then we would break it else it would go to investment grocery shopping transport home utility and likewise it would move suppose it doesn't fit in any of the category it would be by default in others category so this is uh, how i created csv file okay so now this code uh, in this code this is a category in which the bill belongs to so if e is true that is we know that it is a restaurant bill so e becomes true see okay e becomes true so here would print entertainment category and in the file name we would store entertainment.csv using a format likewise we can store um, all the csv files so okay so after running this code i got the output of entertainment category okay now this is about all the append uh, here my content would be append i already showed you in the demo model So this was the end of question one and two, where we needed to read the image, convert into text, extract the data, store it into the respective category, and now we would move to the third and the fourth question that is all about data analysis, that is making a pie chart and then concluding. So here, uh, let me read also after uh, creating all the CSV files. So I'm going to read all the CSV files. Okay, convert it into uh, using the read CSV function. Now, as we know that dates here are in this manner and dates here are in this manner like they have different different dates formats so to make it a convenient and a standardized format i'm using the pd to underscore date to time uh, date time function uh, to do this job so here in the entertainment dot in the date column you are going to convert it into this format and so here after running this is my entertainment dot head investment dot head shopping dot head likewise Okay, so here I just uh, uh, went through some functions, like some methods like dot shape and describe. Okay, so in describe, I found out that the maximum was 7346 amount. Oh my God, that's a huge amount. And so to find out where I have used this, so I'm using uh, this piece of code. Okay, so here I got the record. Here I'm just checking whether all the formats has uh, like right or not suppose okay if the amount is in a object then it would it would hamper the analysis further here i'm checking for any null values any missing values okay so it's not there okay so now it's time to plot things so since everything looked fine we have to move to the next step that is data analysis so here i'm just for uh, analysis purpose i'll make a bar graph and you here I can see that okay here in this kitchen I add a very uh, less amount of food and more of here my cost was used in this category and then to this restaurant and then somewhere in PVR okay so to make this more uh, readable I just uh, shifted the axis using kind bar edge okay so now it's time to make the pie chart so here I have made the pie chart 
so this is all about entertainment category pie chart so since this looks very uh, you know not uh, like not finished so let me try this with the donut plot so this is a donut plot where changing this can uh, change the radius we can change the background color and it's somewhat better than the above pie chart so now we have to uh, do all these things for the other categories so here are all other categories like grocery shopping transport these are all the other expenditures and investment now let's merge all the expenditures and save it to another csv file i mean i'll just show a table uh, okay so here are all my all my categories and i'm going to uh, sum all the amount and store it as total uh, entertainment investment likewise and then i'll make a data uh, dictionary uh, named as data and in which the categories would be this and the amount would be the total of everything okay so this is the amount now i'll create a data frame okay let me run this okay i'll create a data frame and here i'll print the head so here you have two columns uh, category and total with uh, all the total costs so now we'll make a pie chart yeah so this is a clear pie chart with percentage shown and you can see maximum is used in investment followed by entertainment and shopping here again i've used uh, this bar plot to see some variations and here i've used a uh, different plotting technique uh, in the donut plot i've used this um, boxes and rectangles and uh, to show this and then here i have sorted this thing to uh, get uh, you know to make things clear that where i've exactly used more so here i've just sorted it so here i've just found out the percentage so yeah that was it of the question three and now we are moving to the conclusion part so yeah, for I in range, you'll print off every expenditures. I've stored all the percentile in a list and then using the format, uh, I'll be um, appending things here. So 4% of your expenditure was in other category, groceries, and then this is the conclusion. Uh, so yeah, this uh, code provides us a detailed insights about uh, your exp uh, entertainment expenditures and how you used it, where you used it. So here are the few money saving tips. First of all, you need to evaluate your spending. You need to set your monthly budget, track your spending. If it goes above the limit, try to cut it down or spend less the next month in that category. Plan out your meals for the week so that you can avoid randomly going out because above we saw that I went to many restaurants. So if I had planned out the meals that today I'm going to, uh, yeah, this week I'll be going to only few restaurants. So uh, extra cost would have not be, uh, I would have saved a lot of money and um, cut off cable well i guess wi-fi is enough you know you don't need tv because with services like hulu netflix amazon prime uh, you can watch your favorite tv shows and movies for a fraction of cost the cable tv okay thank you